Fit is three times slower than RS build. But why isn't anyone talking about RS build? At SalesConf Africa 2024, I talked about sales ship right and why I went with RS build as the build tool instead of Vit. And here was the reaction of the audience when I mentioned that iOS build is three times faster than Vit. So for performance nerd, like how does it compare between Vit? You know, <laughs> right? Yeah, this is for you. There's, 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 there's. I could say it trumps Vit, and this, mind you, mind we're still not at measure. You get it, right? Don't get me wrong. Vit is an amazing piece of engineering, and I love the attention the ecosystem is giving it. And rightly so, but if you care about high performance in both development and production for your build tools, then RS Build will interest you. RS Build is a universal web build tool based on RS Spark, both of which are part of Vidas open source. RS Spark is a modern web bundler based on Webpack's API, rewritten in Rust, creating a bundler that is 11 times faster than Webpack. By the way, if you are unfamiliar with Bydance, the company, you might recognize one of their flagship products, TikTok. One thing I like about RS Build is that it is extracted out of business or UX needs and not just DX needs. Don't get me wrong, great DX is important, but like Zach Jackson expertly puts it, DX saves millions, UX make billions. And while you should care about speed during development, you should also care about performance and speed when your apps are in production. RS Build was made to shine in both areas. I discovered RS Build when I was in R&D for Shipwright. If you don't know Shipwright, it is sales modern asset pipeline based on RS Build that will be the successor to our ground-based asset pipeline and it's currently the asset pipeline in the boring JavaScript stack. If you care about stability, performance, and longevity of your build tool, then RS Build is where my money is at. And this is why. It is backed by a massive tech company, which is ByteDance, and it is crucial to their business that RS Build exists and it is high performance. Their open source infrastructure team is well funded and well resourced with over 50 engineers working on web infrastructure alone. And the two links are designed for enterprise challenges at companies the size of ByteDance. So I was speaking to someone who had tried using Vite at scale, and here is what they had to say. Simple API is useful for adoption, but may be hard for scaling. This was our problem. When Vite runs out of runway, it becomes very hard to work with. We needed a tool that was as powerful as Webpack, but not complex. Hence, RS Build. I can testify to the simplicity of using RS Build because I have first-hand experience adopting it in sales shipwright. Using RS Build for Shipwright was one of those moments that I felt I made a great decision because I did try Vit, but it felt like it wasn't meant for a web framework like sales. Since RS Build is based on RS Pack, it can enjoy at least 10 years of stability that is baked into the design of RS Pack. Another thing I enjoy about RS Build is the fact that it comes with batteries included, out of the box which I could rely on for sales Shipwright. Things like being UI framework agnostic, meaning that it works seamlessly with Vue as it does with React and Svelte. Superior hot module replacement for both small and large scale projects. TypeScript compilation, CSS preprocessing for preprocessors like LESS and SAS. Easy configuration and so much more. By the way, you can quickly try out RS Build today by using the Create RS Build CLI tool, which offer scaffolding for your favorite UI frameworks like Vue, React or Svelte. Note, Create RS Build is the equivalent to the Create Vit CLI tool. So, to recap, RS Pack is Webpack's API, rewritten in Rust, creating a web bundler 11 times faster than Webpack. RS Build was built on top of RS Pack as a universal web build tool. RS Build is three times faster than Vit. RS Pack has at least 10 years of stability baked into the design. The team is well resourced, well motivated because RS Build is crucial to Biden's business and products. Both RS Build and RS Pack are free and open source. So let me know in the comments what you think about RS Build and if you're going to give it a try. Speaking about giving things a try, how about you give subscribing to this channel a try?